Hi there, for this video, we'll be solving linear equations. So if you don't know what linear equations are, you may check out the previous video before this. And so let's have this example. Let's have x plus 5 equals 6. So what do we do when we solve linear equations? Basically, the goal is to find the value of x that would make this whole equation true or correct. Intuitively, we can observe that for this equation to be true, x must be equal to 1, since 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. But as a step-by-step -step process, what we can do is, since our goal is to find x, our goal is to isolate x and move every other expression to the other side. So if we have a plus 5 here, to eliminate this, we can subtract 5 out here. Since this one is an equation, what we do on this left side, we must also do on the right side. So we must subtract 5 as well here. So subtracting this up, or adding this up rather, we'll have x plus none here, so we just bring down x. Then we have 5 minus 5. This one would cancel. This would be 0 out here. This is equal to 6 minus 5 is 1. And so we have x equals 1. Now let's try x plus 3 equals 10. Now another method that we can do is, aside from subtracting out here or adding something, another way that we can do is by moving this out here. So when we move this out here, what you need to keep in mind is that whenever a number cross this equation, we change its sign. So in this case, if we move 3 to the other side, this will become x is equal to 10 minus 3, since we change its sign. And so the answer here is x equals 7. So we will use this idea more often, the one of moving from equation from left side to right side more often than the first one since this will be helpful in making our solutions quick. So let's have this one. Let's have 2a plus 6 equals 5a minus 9. Again, our goal is to isolate, in this case, a to one side and all the others on the other side. So what we can do here is we can move this 5a out here to the left and we can move this 6 out here to the right. So this one will become 2a, again when we move one um, the term to, an, to another side of the equation, we convert the signs. So this becomes minus 5a. This is equal to negative 9, again convert the sign, so this is negative 6. Simplifying, we'll have negative 3a on the left side and negative 15 on the right side. Now from here, to obtain only a, what we do is we can divide negative 3 
both sides so that this negative 3 out here would cancel out into 1 and 1 times a is simply a so this one becomes a equals negative 15 over negative 3 is 5 and this one out here is the answer Let's have this next example. Let's have 3 minus 4 b plus 1 equals 2b minus 1 plus 3b. Now from here, we can't really move anything yet since it's kind of complicated in either side of the equation. So what we can do first is to simplify this side and simplify this side as well. <clears throat> so first we distribute this negative sign out here and so with this one <clears throat> so we will have 3 minus 4b minus 1 equals 2b minus 1 minus 3. From here, before we move anything from either side, we simplify this first since we have out here 3 and negative 1, and we have 2b and negative 3. So, from my idea in adding and subtracting polynomials, this one out here is negative 4b. 3 minus 1 is 2. This one is equal to 2b minus 3b is negative b. Then we have minus 1 out here. Now from here, we can now move the terms. So we can move negative b to the left side and move 2 to the right side. So this becomes negative 4b, change the sign, so that becomes plus b. This one is equal to negative 1, change the sign, so it becomes negative 2. Simplifying this is negative 3b equals negative 3. We divide negative 3 both sides to obtain cancel this one and we obtain b equals 1 and this one is the answer how about this one let's have 4b equals 4 times b minus 1 plus 3. Again, we can't move anything yet since we still need to simplify this one out here. So simplifying, we'll have 4b equals distribute the 4. So we will have 4b minus 4 plus 3. Simplifying this part out here, we obtain 4b equals 4b minus 1. Now we can move the terms. So we can move 4b to the left side. And so we'll have 4b, change the sign, minus 4b equals negative 1. Simplifying 4b minus 4b is 0 equals the right side is negative 1. Now what do we have here? Notice that we don't have any variables anymore. And our equation, what we have so far is 0 equals negative 1. So can you spot the mistake out here? Well, 0 equals negative 1 cannot be true. 
So this one is a contradiction. Since 0 is not equal to negative 1. So what does this imply? This imply that x has no real solution. So take note of this one. Whenever we encounter this, it can be other, it can be like 2 equals 3. If we encounter this, and since we know that this is not true, it immediately results to x having no real solution. Let's have this one. Let's have 3 times d plus 1 minus 4 equals 3 times d minus 1. So again, before we can move terms from either side of the equation, we first simplify this left side. So distributing 3, we obtain 3d plus 3 minus 4 equals 3d minus 1. Simplifying this one, we obtain 3d minus 1 equals 3d minus 1. Now what do we have here? Observe that the left side is equal to the right side. We can actually stop here, but if we continue the process, we'll have 3d. We can move 3d to the left, and we can move this negative 1 to the right. So we'll obtain 3d, change the sign, minus 3d equals negative 1, change the sign, so we'll have plus 1. Simplifying this, we'll have 0 equals 0. Now what does this mean? Is it also no solution since we have, we lost the variable out here? Well, that is not the case since 0 equals 0 is true, or always true. So if this is the case, we conclude that for this one, x is an element of real number, which means that x is satisfied by all real numbers. So take note of this one. So again, if we encounter like 0 equals 1, this means that no real solution. But if we encounter like 0 equals 0 or 1 equals 1, this means that x is valid for all real numbers. Let's have this last example. Let's have 2 h minus 1 equals h plus 6 over 7. So for this case, we have a um, denominator. We have a fraction. Despite that, our goal remains the same, and that is to find the value this case of h. So what can we do? First, simplify things. We can remove this denominator. So we can multiply 7, both sides. Both sides, we multiply both sides because remember that in the equation, what we do on one side of the equation, we also do on the other side of the equation. So this one, becomes 7 times 2h minus 1. For the right side, the 7 out here will cancel, so we'll obtain h plus 6. Simplifying the left side, we distribute 7 out here to obtain 14h minus 7 equals h plus 6. And we can now move terms. So we move first h to the left side, 
and remove negative 7 to the right side to obtain 14h minus h since we change sides and then 6 negative 7 becomes plus 7 let's move this one so 14h minus h is 13h and 6 plus 7 is 13 from here we divide 13 both sides to cancel this one and to obtain h equals 13 over 13 is 1 and this one out here is the answer so that is how we solve linear equations as an exercise You can work on these two examples. First one is 6x minus 2 minus x equals 3x plus 2 times 2x minus 1. And for the next one, we have x over 8 minus x over 9 equals 1. So again, our goal here is to find the value of x or the values of x. If there are plenty of values that will satisfy it or determine if there are no values of x that satisfy the given equation. So that's it for this video. Feel free to comment down below your solutions and answer answers to these exercises and so that's it i hope you enjoyed this one and that is all for this video